Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to the long-awaited Prison Architect Advanced Gang Warfare Season 2. Today we are doing a user-submitted prison, like I've said before. Let me take off that annoying noise. We have a user-submitted prison. This is submitted by Dragon Breath. It is called... Gang War Seraph, I think, is the name of the prison. So if you guys want to submit your own prisons for me to do future gang wars on, let me know or just, you know, submit them anywhere. Message me on Discord, put me put them in the YouTube comments if you want, and I'll get to those as soon as I can. But now that you guys know, feel free to. For now, we're just going to use Dragon Breaths, and the link to his prison will be in the description. I believe it is out for public use anyway, so I don't think he'll mind me putting it out in the description. So this is the layout of the prison, as you can see. We have red gang, green gang, and blue gang we have at here. Right now we have common rooms. I believe these are supposed to be shared, but they're yellow for some reason. Oh, that's just the floor, okay. <laughs> so we have shared common rooms in the battleground right here. We've got an armory right here. This whole place is a yard, I believe, and four common rooms, similar to the last layout. Also, each of the gang cell blocks have their own common room and gymnasium. However, I am going to keep those shared as well, just to see if we can introduce a little bit more anarchy and see how other gangs react to places pretty much within their own territory. I know it's illegal to even come in here in the first place because there's no door, but I'm just leaving it like that just in case a riot happens and they decide to cross boundaries. Right now, I am waiting for intake. We are going to have intake of 100 prisoners. That's all that's available right now that are medium and max security coming within 17 hours. And I will cut to when that happens. But for now, this is what it looks like. It's a snowy battleground with trees. We've got lots of guards, lots of snipers all around to prevent escapes, retaining walls, forest trees for some reason, and a nice big armory. We also have gangs enabled, and I believe extra contraband may be enabled as well. I'll have to check later. But until then, we can always see how these gangs get set up, who arrives first, and how they handle their new environment. In about one second, we have 101 potential gang members arriving. <laughs> this is going to be a big fat mess. I can assure you that, but that's okay. Let's get these buses in and check out who we've got coming. What is it called? Reputation? I just turned on automatic reputation so I can see how everybody is. We have one legendary prisoner already. And another for red gang. We have one in blue, one in red. And I don't think there is one for green yet. But we can check that out later. Looking it up, it looks like we already have one, two, and three. Yes, all three gang leaders are in. And it looks like the only non-legendary gang leader is... I believe someone over here, it is Hawkins. Hawkins is not legendary, so Green Gang might be struggling. We shall see though, because it looks like Blue does have a decent uh, amount of reputation. But as usual, we are going to actually set these prisoners to be in certain cells. You guys were asking about how I did that before, and all you have to do is literally just right click or click on the prisoner that you want, and then right click them into a certain cell that you want them to be in. So I believe I might, I think that's clear enough. Hopefully you guys can understand that. If not, just ask again and I'm sure you'll get a comment saying to watch this part of the video. <laughs> Quincy Jeeves for Red Gang. I didn't enter even get the other guy. Quincy Jeeves, you are going to live here now. And who is this? I believe it's Rogers that is the, what's this? Hawkins, no, excuse me, wow, Hawkins. Christopher Hawkins, uh, here for Violent Disorder and Assault, is going to be the leader of the Green Gang and be put into this cell right here. We can check, double check that later once everybody gets processed. So here we go. Adam Boyer here for multiple crimes. <laughs> We've got, what's his face? Quincy the Clever Cat Jeeves here for being a gentleman's gentleman and a cat burglar. And we've also got homeboy over here, Bird Burgess. Burgess. No, not this guy. I keep on forgetting. Where where is he? I need to I need to memorize their names so we can <laughs> get things going. Hawkins. Christopher Hawkins. Like Christopher Hawkins, but not. Okay. Alright, so apparently we've already got somebody punished. We <laughs> we didn't even oh my goodness, I didn't even get to set that up yet for punishment. So as you can tell, I am not doing a voiceover recording just because I can record a lot more episodes a lot quicker if I don't have to worry about voicing over and editing 
well, I guess properly. So that's kind of the way this format's going to go. Let me know what you want. I'll still have music and whatnot. And it looks like Red Gang is having a bad time. Oh my goodness. Wow. That's rough. Let's change the policy real quick. Oh my goodness. I haven't even been able to change the settings and we already got a riot. 10, 10 rioters already. It looks like it's probably Red Gang. Oh my goodness. It's Blue Gang. Blue Gang. If anybody here was expecting Blue Gang to be the first to riot, you would be right because we've already got a death <laughs> and it's this snitch over here benjamin platten so they're weeding them out already i do know that there is more likely to be snitches in medium security than there are in any of the other securities however there aren't a lot of uh maximum securities to be in taken so we're going to actually close it off and make only max sec now that we've got our hundred original prisoners and then we can see what happens oh my goodness bodies everywhere this, there is no, no rest for these people. Goodness. Well, it seems like the riots aren't going to get any better. So what we're going to have to do is probably hire some more guards or something to maybe prevent all this. Who knows? I don't know. I might let it go for a little bit longer until we figure something out. This place is now an absolute riot zone. So it looks like we are going to have to hire some more staff. We're going to need some armed guards in here just because they can keep the peace a little bit better. And we're going to hire 60 regular guards. And let's bring ourselves up to a total of 80 guards. Okay, so now these guys are hired. They don't want to go into the riot, riot I'm assuming. Yeah, I cannot enter riot. So let's... <laughs> Not even in like 10 minutes into day one, and we're going to have to order the riot police. That's That's just great. Okay, seems like the shotgun guards are coming in, taking out some prisoners for us, so that's okay. Blue Gang is going to be at a disadvantage. That's unfortunate, but the way the cookie crumbles. As we are going to set up, I forgot to completely set this up before. We're setting this all up to free time because frick them and they can do whatever they want. Just kidding, we're going to make them eat at least twice a day. So, one at 10, two hours at 10, and then two hours at 8 and nine and i think that's good enough they might get a little hungry in between but i'm sure they can grab a snack or something looks like the riot police are doing okay i guess trying to handle the riot looks like they've taken control of this area and they haven't actually no they've taken control of everything this place just seems to be taken over for some reason even though there's not really anybody in here doing much except for homeboy john Ed eds eds over here trying to riot. Good luck, my friend. Okay, with all that taken care of and the, what are these called? S policy all taken care of and the regime taken care of. I'm going to release these prison guard guys. They can go home, go home guys, hopefully, and let them do what they want. I do believe we do have doctors or we might not have doctors. Where are the doctors? Hold on a second. We don't have any doctors, so let's hire some real quick. I should have actually looked ahead of time of how many staff that we actually had <laughs> wow that's unfortunate let's get some dogs too just because i know we probably don't have like a canine place but i'm putting them there just because i like dogs you know okay preliminary after the first riot we have red gang with 42 members green with only 17 and blue with 35 members Blue probably lost the most members, but they're still way ahead of Green Gang. And it looks like Red's about to lose some too from the looks of things. Oh, maybe not. That was solved pretty quickly. It is free time. These members do have time to, you know, set up for things. I need to hire cooks so that they can actually eat. I do realize that prisoners probably do need to eat. I forgot to do that too, along with the doctors. However, I believe once they do get done setting up to be eating and whatnot, we can see if they even make a move on this battleground they are still getting settled in and needing to weed out their snitches and you know imposters and whatnot so they are probably going to kill a lot of their own members before they start reaching out on the territory that they have here now it looks like this common room seems to not have set up so we're going to need to set up these two common rooms to have stuff in them and that's going to be pretty simple let's wait overnight and see where they end up red's having a little bit of a scuffle <laughs> Making the doctors are already tired. However, that's okay. Wait. The doctor needs to store a doctor in a medical bed? Oh, that's not good. What are they? 
<laughs> what are you gonna do? So lay down in the medical bed, or are they gonna find some other doctor to put in the medical bed? That's unfortunate. Oh, another death, and it looks like a cook was just randomly shanked by Jones over here. That's unfortunate. Adam jo Jones, excuse me, seems to have wanting to murder a cook, and now they have one less cook. I guess the food must have been that bad. We need to set up a graveyard somewhere. Question is, where should it be? I feel like up here is a good place to put it. So let's actually start a graveyard really quickly. And it's gonna be as simple as just grab coming up to objects and looking for gravestones. We have for zero out of five. Okay, that's five. <laughs> Rest in peace, you five members and one cook. I guess five prisoners and one cook. I don't know who actually died. <laughs> they beat this guy's clothes back on him and now he's just going back to his bed. <laughs> Let's hire some more doctors because it looks like these guys need a desperate need of a break. I also probably should build a staff room. I think they only have one way out here and we have a lot of them resting right now. Actually, I think it's fine. I think this one staff room is good enough. We have enough and we can probably just hire some more as we need them. It looks like we've got red and blue gang having a little bit of game of cards over this common room over here. Blue Gang may actually be taking over, but they need a little bit more soldiers in order for it to work. But it looks like they actually aren't fighting for this gang business-wise. They're just kind of chilling, which is pretty cool. They do have their own common room, so I don't know why they're not using it, but hey, it's nice to see the gangs working together every once in a while. It also looks like because of the cells being dormitories and not individual cells, you can't see which gang is kind of taking over which part of the cell block. So that's just the way it is, I believe. We might see these guys get, you know, upgraded or two, but for now, it looks like it's just gonna be like this. We also don't have any lieutenants. I believe it is the job of the gang leaders to recruit lieutenants, so let's see how that goes. Are they not going to sleep? Because it is 6 a.m. and it looks like they might not have sleeping at all just because. Oh, well, maybe they did. They don't seem to have the need to sleep. Oh, I don't have a psychologist, that's why. We now have a psychologist and they are nice in their office because nobody likes him. He's been quarantined from the rest of the staff, which is just fine. It does look like the prisoners do need sleep, so we are going to have to change the regime a little bit to force them to sleep after eating time and whatnot. So let's make them sleep until at least 6 a.m. And then they can get started on 7 a.m. Or maybe force them to eat here and then give them free time for the rest of the day until the next eat time. Perfect. Okay, so they have about from 10 to 7, a pretty early late work day actually. That's a really nice work day to me. Tell to do their gang business and whatnot, and we can see how that turns out. Our next in cam is or next intake, excuse me, is coming in about 40 seconds. Well, 20 seconds really. And we shall see if Green Gang gets more members. Now, eat time, it looks like everyone is handling themselves okay, except for Red Gang, who seems to be having a scuffle over the last bread. Probably the last croissant, really. And now we have more inter- in, excuse me, prisoners. Looks like it was just a diff different or normal balance. It looks like Green Gang seems to only really be having not that many members coming up, but that's okay. We only have capacity for around... 133 for everyone except for green gang which seems to have room for 135 huh it looks like a gang member cut through this wall right here and tried to escape and it looks like this actually is quincy jeeves <laughs> the clever cat trying to escape again from the <laughs> Somebody get him. Okay, we're gonna need we're gonna need to put him in punishment or something because we can't let this happen. It's unfortunate. I know the gang members don't like that, but the fact that he can just walk through this wall right here and be why is there even a jail door right here? That's pretty insecure. So we're gonna actually add a little bit more defenses to this prison. No walls, just perimeter, and have at it. Oh, just before I can even do that, the prisoners rioted for a half a second. Oh my goodness, who was it? Red gang? Looks like Red Gang is doing that. A good upgrade for these guys, my staff at least, would be Taser. So next I need to build a school room or some sort of classroom so that they can learn how to start tasing their prisoners uncontrollably. That could probably greatly help what they're doing. Let's get this guy back in his cell, please. Okay, <laughs> while I was trying to secure the prison, it looks like I missed a small gang war. 
Looks like all three gangs try to take over the bottom left corner. Green gang, and actually all the gangs have taken over their individual gymnasiums, which is cool to see. I'm glad they've got some land there. And it looks like green gang and red gang have just remained or got victorious for these two parts of the prison. Wow, we are only on day two and Green Gang already has a territory even though they have the least amount of members. Red Gang got this this territory down here with a big fight while Green didn't have much of a fight up here at all, really. However, it looks like the trouble down in the bottom left common room is not over yet. The foosball table is even broken. That's unfortunate. Oh, I think I just heard a taser. And I don't know who tasered, if that was the guard that tasered somebody or one of the prisoners that had a taser. I'll have to check the footage to see what happened there. Of course, another riot and some more deaths are going on. Blue gang gets dead or gets killed by a rival gang member. Let's see what the death count or kill count is right now. Looks like blue gang has two kills. Red gang has one kill and they have 46 and 50 members respectively. The riot is now done or finished. However, the fighting hasn't stopped yet and it looks like it's going to keep on going for some time. I don't have too many guards coming in to fix the situation because this is gang war. We can't have a third party coming in to solve everyone's problems. Whoever dies, dies. And if it's the guards, then so be it. Blue Gang. Blue Gang seems to be making a move on the bottom right common room, leaving one more space open with common room and one space open with the yard. This is going to be very interesting because these two common rooms on the right side have ac direct access to the armory. And if they start a riot in any of these rooms, they can come into the armory and <laughs> maybe be able to overpower all the guards that are in here, but maybe not. We shall see though. As Blue Gang is trying to take over the bottom right, it looks like Green Gang is setting up to take over another area. We don't know exactly where. It may even be this yard. Actually, this yard doesn't seem to have the proper pieces in it or something because I can't see the option for them or the little, you know, overlay where they can take over. Oh, there it is. Green is actually going to contest blue for the bottom right common room. Very interesting. Let's see how what happens when this fight breaks out because it looks like green, oh, blue actually brought, just brought in some backup. So let's see how that turns out. I was gonna say green could overpower blue, but now the Lieutenant's in and just brought in some backup. There it is. Seems like some of them got caught in the door but the fight for the bottom right common room has underway. A dead already, green has been murdered by blue. That's another kill for blue. And another one dead, I don't know who that is. Nope, another green. Looks like blue is overwhelming green gang. Another unconscious for green, another dead for green, and another dead for green. Oh my goodness, green is getting absolutely decimated in the bottom right corner. This war is going completely to blue. The riot has now been taken over and the common room is now completely blue gangs, I believe, as there is no one left conscious in this room and most of them are dead. Blue now been jumped up to 10 per kills. Oh my goodness. And green is now down to 20 members. Rest in peace, green gang. Blue has now taken over this part of the gang and green has actually moved. Seems like they might have been a, used the gang members down here as a distraction. A distraction for the blue gang members. They knew that they couldn't take over this by themselves because they already at the top left. So they sent a small amount of people down here while the other rest of the green gang can sneak up here untouched. That's actually, that's kind of crazy. Sacrificing that many gang members just to get some more territory. That's a big play for green gang. Let's see if it pays out. Green gang has now taken control of the top right common room, leaving them with two two territories and even though they have the least amount of members and that's that's impressive for day two the yard seems to not be in contention for the war i will check on what's going on with that very soon but let's see how this riot on the blue gang on the bottom right common room turns out gunshots gunshots are going off and it looks like prisoners are actually guards are dying left and right it seems like some guards got acts or some prisoners have got access to guns with the more contraband what's it called mutator that's going on right now so now the prisoners have access to guns i don't think they got them from the armory because i didn't see anyone go in there however <laughs> the supply is meeting the demand yep boyer boyer here with a sniper rifle taking headshots left and right knocking out guards oh my goodness and another one goes oh my goodness an arm guard gets shot no one picks up the shotgun though but boyer still has a sniper legendary status prisoner right here taking a good riot time all right I think that's enough fun, so let's call in the riot police, maybe even call in some soldiers eventually, but we can save that for another episode.
I know I called a little bit too many riot police for this little amount of situation or limited amount of prisoners rioting. However, because they have guns, I just kind of wanted to throw everything at them just because. One thing I do know that I want to build. Oh, we got two more desks coming on right now. It looks like it was more guards, so we won't worry about that. We can replace them in the future. Looks like I can't find the helipad. I don't know if my purchase of the DLC didn't go through or if it needs to be an island prisoner for or island prison for this to work, but I'm sure I can figure it out later. Wow, prisoners are doing pretty well against all the guards. The riot police are yet to show up. They are quite slow today. We might need to make this path a little bit of a faster path instead of this slow gravel path, I believe, that this is on. Goodness, Blue Gang is going at it. Okay, the riot police has come, and it looks like they're doing their best to take out the people one by one. Looks like the ammo, the prisoners have run out of ammo, so that's pretty good for the riot guards, or else they'd probably be shot by now. Oh, <laughs> as I say that, I hear gunshots, but nobody's died. Oh, never mind, someone got hurt pretty bad. Boyer with the sniper still going at it. He is unstoppable. Somebody help help the guards on Boyer. <laughs> Somebody get their dog. Oh my goodness. Wait a minute. Do, I, do my eyes deceive me that Boyer is actually... I can't believe I forgot. I figured Boyer seemed familiar, but he's actually the Blue Gang leader. The Blue Gang leader just led charge of an entire riot, murdering countless prisoners and guards with his sniper rifle. That is some pretty good leadership demonstrated by Boyer. While that was happening, it looks like Red Gang has actually taken over the top left um top left common room wow that's impressive red gang leader seems to be in shackles for some reason needing to go back to his dormitory or at least go back to his cell shouldn't be a dormitory i don't know what happened to green gang but i don't think they had the manpower to keep control of both common rooms up in the top it was a pretty good bet but i don't think it played out in the end however they still do have the top right common room and i believe they'll hold it on for the rest of this day it's now time to repopulate the graveyard. It looks like I now have the ability to have 41. So that is 41 minus 5 more deaths that I had before. That's that's kind of crazy. Red Gang Riot, of course. Was it a snitch? It might have been a snitch, but it looks like a prison guard got a little too nosy with his uh, probing. Ended up dead. That's one more stone to the graveyard. Just kidding. Make that two more. Three more. What's going on out here? Are they going against the guards again? It looks like there's... Red Gang seems to not have their stuff together. They're going out of control, killing guards, killing each other. Wow, this is unfortunate. We'll have to hold off on the uh, grave <laughs> gravestone populating because we've got death after death after death and it seems to be the guards. Yeah, we're going to need to get some body armor and tasers on them really soon. That's, I just actually finished building a classroom for that case, actually. Let's get that program going and we will start day three. As the sun rises on day three, it looks like we've got 50 members for Red Gang with one kill, 20 members for Green Gang with zero kills, and 46 members for Blue Gang with 10 kills. Red Gang has the most territories with two of the left common rooms, green with one on the top right, and blue with the bottom right. I still can't figure out why the yard doesn't count as a territory. It might be because of this armory here in the middle. I'm not too sure. In fact, let me see what happens if I remove this armory and what happens real quick. So if I take this off, will the yard become a thing? No, no, it does not. Okay, I'm sure I can figure it out later, but I will do that between this episode and next episode. I'd love to hear your tips and tricks and ideas on how to get the yard counting as a gang area and the deaths are piling up. What is going on? Someone went on a killing spree. Green gang lost a member, but it's going on a killing spree against the guards. It looks like a shotgun guard was taken out and a riot is now underway. We now have some more. <laughs> we have a huge actually traffic jam going on up here. I need to figure out why that's the case. It's probably because these gates aren't being opened by the guards for some reason. Ugh. Let's get some guards over here. Okay, the riot has now moved to the canteen in Green Gang. Green Gang has lost a member, so that means they uh, actually, because of the new members coming in, they're up to 22, but you know, <laughs> hopefully they can actually get their stuff together and keep that member count above 22. Why was there a riot in the gang leader's cell? Are they upset with them? Maybe they got, 
It must be. It seems like some gang members got upset with the guards and the gang leader for doing that sacrificial move in the bottom right so that they could get control of this top territory. And especially now that it hasn't worked out because Red Gang now has it and Blue Gang has now just taken over the bottom left. It seems like they might be trying to do a coup on the Red Green Gang leader. Well, while that's happening, more distractions are going on around the prisoners. Prison, excuse me. While eat time is supposed to be happening, it looks like we have a riot in both the bottom left, top left, mid left, and bottom. Ugh, wow. Two canteens and one common room are under riots right now. We're gonna need to call in some more external forces. Doors are set up and it looks like the riot police hasn't entered yet because Raya Duncan Pennington actually just got his shotgun knocked out of his hand, but not before killing and knocking unconscious a multitude of his own gang. Wow, Blue Gang. I don't know what's going on with them. They were dominating, but now it seems like they're having their own little civil war amongst themselves. Boyer is still staying the lead, probably recruiting someone else to be a lieutenant right now. Worried for his safety as anybody would be in this situation. Seems like the same thing with Hawkins. They're worried for their safety because of the amount of deaths that are going on. However, we're hovering around 30 prisoners that say they're well treated. So that's not bad. <laughs> the infirmary is stacked with bodies, which is not something you love to see. But, you know, you know all why we're here. So you love to see it. Okay, it looks like Red Gang is actually doing their business inside their common room. Green Gang, actually, wow, Blue Gang seems to be trying to make a move on Green Gang's common room up in the top right, and Green Gang does not have any, any members at all left standing to stop them. Blue Gang is going to start dominating this field again. Will they get a second win this early in the season? For some reason, Boyer, the man who went around on a killing spree t knocking headshots on a majority of these guards down here whose bodies are yet to be picked up for some reason, He's running around calling his mom, worried about his safety. Interesting. Quick update on the kill count. It looks like Blue Gang has actually jumped up their count to 12 kills now, and none of them have any money, which is kind of interesting because they did get some money yesterday, and no one, or last season, <laughs> excuse me, and no one told me why exactly that was the case yet. I believe we've actually blown past our record from last season with over 81 kills in the first three days. Blue Gang has now officially taken over the top right common room. We saw that coming. There was actually no fights for it at all. And now they have three territories out of the four, plus the yard, which is yet to be taken over yet and figured out why that's working. We've had a death and a riot actually starting because Blue Gang seems to try to take over the top left common room and they are still. Look like it looks like it right now. It looks like they had a quick change in shifts or something or fresh men moved into this common room. And now they're going to try to take all <laughs> completely over. They have already in three days. Blue Gang has taken over the four common rooms in this war ground. Mind you, they also did not have the most members. It looked like Red Gang actually had the most members, but the most of them were MIA, if not KIA. Jeeves seems to be spending his time in the infirmary more than he does in his own cell, leaving Blue Gang now with 59 members and 15 kills with the most territories in the match. The other gangs have to come up quick if they want to win this season because this might be a very short war. A riot. I don't know who it is. It looks like Blue Gang. Seems like a guard made the wrong move and it seems to be... <laughs> was absolutely surrounded by Blue Gang, leaving a lot of bodies dead. And now Red Gang seems to be doing the same thing all at the same time. Green Gang was having a nice little powwow before all this happened. I was going to comment about that, but they seem to have broken that up. And now Red Gang is having a grand old riot, murdering guards. Oh my goodness. The guards really can't win in this area. Seems like they really don't want to be the ones that <laughs> survive this gang war. It's now eat time, officially eat time, meaning that the sun is starting to go down on this day of the gang war and this episode of Gang Warfare Season 2. Seems like the riot was handled. 61 deaths today alone. Let's repopulate the graveyard. We are one off from 100. 100 deaths in three days. You think we can do it? We still have about three, four more hours left before 12 o'clock and the end of this day. So we might be able to hit it. Well, <laughs> we've hit 100 and well beyond that. It looks like Red Gang has started another riot and murdering spree on the guards of this cell block. I don't know what to do to make sure the guards don't get murdered as quickly. I might need to turn on the mutator for super guards. However, I don't even think that would help either because 
there is a large vendetta against all sorts of guards for Red Gang and Blue Gang for that matter even. It looks like Green Gang is a little bit chill because they don't have as many members to back them up, but I doubt that they won't take long before they start killing their own guards again. Looks like the gang leader actually was knocked unconscious in the scuffle. He will be sent back to the infirmary yet again. Seems like having a gang, a very legendary and riley, very rowdy gang leader, volatile is his uh, status. It's probably not the good thing to have because he tends to get himself in more trouble than not, which really much, pretty much erupts the rest of the prison. Gunshots. It looks like a prisoner got a hold of a gun. Johnson got a hold of a shotgun and is now taking out prisoners and guards left and right. What could be happening here? What's wrong with him? Another legendary prisoner that probably needs to get separated out with the rest of the legendary prisoners because they seem to be causing way more trouble than good. The amount of dead bodies is almost appalling. Homeboy over here. Jack Johnson is a one-man killing machine taking out every single one of the guards that I have stationed here. And more keep coming to take their place and he is not stopping. Oh my goodness, this is so bad. We need to get him out of here. Let us not... We're gonna put him in solitary permanent lockdown for Jack Odin Johnson. Secretly loves Depeche mode. I don't even know what that means, but let me know what that means. And I'm kind of scared if I even... I don't know if I should even have said that out loud and get demonetized. We have over 105 dead bodies on the premises. And the clock is now coming up to 12 p.m. for day three. Let's fill out the rest of this graveyard. Oh my goodness, Jack Johnson. You are an absolute mad lad. Wow, that was all of his kills. Very impressive. Tomorrow, we are going to see exactly where the how the gangs recover from both this riot right here and any more problems that they have. Blue Gang is dominating the field yet again with 15 kills and 58 members tied with Green Gang, or Red Gang, excuse me. Green Gang used to try to dominate, but now they've fallen back a little bit as they're having a shortage of members. We can try to see if we can get them more members somehow, but until then, I hope you guys have a great morning, afternoon, night, or evening, and I will see you next time.